Ah, uh, yes, the big two, three. Welcome back, elites, to the Minecraft Guide, episode number 23. We can't waste any time today. By the end of the episode, we're going to have the brand new town hall, the starter house, the starter home, number two in this world. It's gonna be a big project. We're gonna try and do the inside and the outside today. So like all of the build. Don't know if we'll actually accomplish it, but we'll give it a good shot. So last episode, we set up our food farm over here. Now the cows are doing well. I have bred them in between episodes, but they're still really not ready to go. Now realistically, we can't really do too much until we have a consistent supply of food over here. So I figured today would be the perfect day to get it set up with a brand new starter house over here. Because I mean, after all, we're living next to a portal and stuff is like everywhere. Yeah, if we had a starter house, it at least wouldn't be everywhere on the ground. So I think that's going to be the move. Now, I think the starter house should be fancy, for sure, definitely fancy. And I think it should have a good view of this area right here. I want this lake to be a central area in this base, this village, this whatever we're setting up over here. So yeah, the starter house definitely should have a good view. But little problem, we have plants everywhere. So today we're going to kick things off just like we did in the last episode with a little bit of plant removal. Now, normally, I would do this in between episodes just off camera, but because this is like a new base, I don't really want to do too much in between episodes. I want to kind of jump back in, show you guys what it looks like, and then start ripping down all of the trees, you know, burning the stuff, getting rid of it. Well, not burning it. We're going to keep all the wood, but you know what I mean. Now, today, I do have a little bit of a vision for the starter house. I don't have, like, dimensions or anything like that set, but I know what I want to create. This build, if I can create it correctly, is going to be sweet. It will, uh, mark my words, this is a big statement here, but this build will be even better than our other starter house. Yes, the build that I am absolutely in love with. That's the plan, at least. So, I'm gonna go ahead and clear out a little bit of land here. I'm gonna flatten it out. I think I want the house, uh, like, the front of it to, like, be right here. Gotta cut down some trees. Then, I'll be back. Wish me luck. Hopefully the trees don't get me. Hey everybody, how you doing? It's me, Overachiever here. I'm back. The area has been cleared and I've actually marked out our build outline. So, uh, like I said, I kind of have an idea as to what I want to do, but at the same time, I'm not entirely sure. What I do know is that I wanted a plus shaped build. So, we have one rectangle right there and then we have another one right there. This will make the center area feel really grand and open, which is exactly the feel that I'm going for. I also know that I want to utilize windows, so big window looking at that cool hill over there for sure, probably windows over here, and then definitely a window over there. I had to take a gigantic part of this hill down. I started terraforming it to make it look a little bit better. Now, before we get too far into the project, I need to say one thing because I almost forgot, like I actually entirely forgot. The, the build over here has been detailed a little bit more. Over here, coarse dirt, hay blocks, yeah, all of that kind of stuff. I think it looks a whole lot better, but uh, anyways, the starter house. So, here's the build palette for today. We're going to use cobblestone as a base, we're going to use stripped dark oak logs, and then, wait for it, we're going to use dark oak planks. We're also going to use spruce and barrels and things like that. On the roof, we'll use cobblestone and stone bricks, I think. Yeah, something like that. So, uh, the build. The first things first, the build. What I'm thinking is on the corners, we'll probably have something like this. I don't know how tall it'll be quite yet, but we'll have something like that. Then uh, we'll have like cobblestone in here on the base. Then on this side, I'd like to have a window that pops out. So maybe we could go like three right there and have that pop out a little bit. Now, to be clear, the floor inside of here will actually be raised up one block. So we'll be walking around on this right here. Then big window. I think that'll be cool. Now, um, over here, I was thinking maybe some sort of storage wing. But uh, we're living in a jungle, right? The jungle is like warm and, and tropical and yeah, uh, warm. <laughs> so basically with this build, I'd like to let a little bit of the outside inside, uh, if that makes sense. So what I'm thinking is on this side where we do the storage, we'll actually leave things pretty open. Like maybe we'll honestly just use fences and then leave big windows and then something above the fences. That could be pretty cool. Minecraft B, go back to where you belong. There's no flowers over here. Uh, anyways, along the base over here, more cobblestone. Cobblestone will pretty much always be our base block on this build. I think the cobblestone down low will make this build look really, really sturdy and strong, which is definitely something that I want. So, cobblestone over here, then catching things up. Over here, probably another block of cobblestone, and then probably a corner pillar going up right here. Now, this is going to be the entrance. The only thing that I'm kind of unsure about is this tight spot right here. So this is going to be a little tight for my liking. We might have to push this hill back even more, or maybe eventually just take that whole mountain down. 
Uh, it's gonna be a bigger job though because there's a lot there but maybe that's something we could eventually do to kind of open it up a little bit more so anyways uh these are all stripped by the way same with over here that's all stripped uh this carries around over here and then on the front i'm thinking something that's a whole lot more wooden probably like all stripped logs all in here so i'm thinking something that looks like this but along the bottom we're gonna do something different we'll do staircases right there that'll look probably pretty good then on the front, we'll maybe, well, you know what? Maybe we'll do like cobblestone siding and then like two steps up and we'll have a double door right here. Now, this part is off center. This is an odd amount in here. I think that's going to be a whole lot better. I like odds better than evens, but I liked the idea of a double door. So I made a double door right in there. I think this part is seven blocks long, by the way, and then 12 blocks long this way. And uh, pretty much the same for this area. Uh, anyways, though, moving along on the build. So same thing on this side. We're going to have lots and lots of wood on this front piece. And then uh, the same trick near the bottom. Then over here, we're going to have a turn. In the turn, this is what I'm thinking. So same corner again, just like that. And then same cobblestone base right in here. But this thing is going to be completely different. So uh, cobblestone right there. Then this time we have little uh, pillars going up. More cobblestone right there. Pillars over here. And then finally, more cobblestone right there. Um, <laughs> it's getting crazy, but this is what I'm thinking. Enchantment set up right here, storage over there. Big open area in the middle, maybe a spot to put like a dragon egg or maybe even a villager in here or something like that. But uh, yeah, and then somewhere in here we'll have a bed too. This whole build will be one story, but it'll probably get pretty tall. Now, in some areas, I want to come in and fill the wall in probably with like spruce planks, but also windows. If I can fit a window in, I will definitely put a window in. So like this spot right here, we could probably actually do like another pillar with this uh, dark oak logs right there, and then do like a window in the middle. That would probably be a little bit better than a solid closed off wall. On this bay though, oh boy, I have a different idea. So again, I have no clue on the actual height of the build. For now, let's just build it up to like that spot right there. Then we can go ahead and put some temporary dirt blocks in here. Uh, just a placeholder. Then uh, what we want to do actually is trapdoor, 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 trapdoor. Then we can go ahead and actually just uh, close all the trapdoors. Same thing on the other side, bunch more trapdoors. And then uh, we can take the dirt out and put glass panes in here. <laughs> Maybe. I'm not 100% sure on how this is going to look, but I think it would work. Theoretically, it should be fine. I mean, the panes will connect to the closed trap doors, which is perfect. I think it'll work, and it'll allow us to have lots of depth in here, but have a shape that's not too big and clunky. I'll come back and get that with Silk Dutch. Uh, but yeah, maybe something like that for the window. And then I'll thicken it up around the bottom with more cobblestone staircases, and of course, of course, come back in with mossy cobblestone. Maybe. Uh, maybe. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Ah, so uh, that was a lot, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, definitely, definitely a lot, but we have a lot to get done today. So that's kind of what I'm thinking uh, for the outside of the build. What I'm going to do now is chop down trees, get supplies, and actually get the outside, the shell of the build in. I'll probably cut back in at random points and talk about details that I'll be adding to the build because I have a couple really interesting things in mind that I want to try out that I've actually never done before on a build. It should be really, really interesting. But uh, overall, that is the basic outline, my basic thoughts on the build. I'll be back. I've hit the first interesting part of this build. So the bottom part, fences, that's pretty easy. This is the part that I was talking about maybe putting storage in, but the top, maybe barrels? I mean, this could be really interesting if it works out. Barrels are a crazy detailed looking block and would definitely fit inside of this build palette. So maybe, maybe barrels along the top, like, like this, that could look really, really cool, I think. I mean, check this out. We have barrels all up there, and then we would have, like, fence posts down here, so it would be, like, a small window would be, like, looking out like that. That could look really cool. And then from the outside, to get rid of that weird combination area, uh, maybe we do, like, trap doors in here. That could level things up even more. Maybe? <laughs> <laughs> I'm really unsure about this. I don't know if this is going to work. I haven't ever tried this on a build before, but I feel like I, I feel like this would look really good here. And then on this side of the build, we'll have a completely different roof line than that part of the build. And of course, a completely different roof line than the build over there. So maybe barrels in there. That could look really, really cool. Now, uh, let's talk about roof lines really quick. So uh, over here, this build isn't going to be too tall. 
This is what I'm thinking for the roof. If we move over here, we'll use stone bricks for the outline of the build. So, uh, the roof will always overhang. Always, always, always. Uh, and it'll start right there. Then we go diagonally up one. Then wait for it. We do it again. And then I tower up so I can reach. And we do it again. And boom, we do it again. I'm thinking this roof will be a tall, steep, uh, just like 45 degree angle roof. I, I think that'll look good. But, uh, where do I want to start it? Do I want to start it? Yeah, probably right above these trap doors. That would look good. So over here we have a roof line that looks like that. I'll probably outline it with solid blocks just like that. Of course, I'll get mossy stone bricks in here. And then on the inside, cobblestone. Cobblestone staircases. Now, this side of the build. This side is gonna be a little bit taller. This is seven blocks tall from the ground. If we tower up and then go over here, we'll be able to actually start getting the roof in. Here's what I'm thinking. Uh, maybe what we do is stone bricks again definitely stone bricks so we'll start like that then we go up diagonally one then uh, wait for it plot twist we go up two then we go up two again and then finally this should be the center right here we go up to to finish everything off now yes uh, this side is going to be a lot more tall than the other side but i think with this build being relatively tall as it is and with the build being on a hill it should work the hill will give this build a lot more height, which means we can get away with a taller roof. I'm pretty sure that that'll work. So that'll go straight across there. That'll go right into this roof line over here. And then over there, I'm thinking something maybe a little bit more flat or more like a dome. Then on this roof, I'll do pretty much the same exact thing as that roof. Stone bricks on the outside, cobblestone on the inside. But this time, because we're going to have such a big flat roof, I might try and put a little bit more uh, like details on it. So let's see what we can see right here, right now, before I go and finish the outside of the build. What do we think? Oh boy, oh yes, that roof is definitely not too tall for that build. Not at all, actually. I could probably get away with a roof that's even taller. Wow. Okay, yes, yes, that is definitely 100% going to work. Awesome. Another thing that I'd like to try and do on this build, on the outside of the build, I'm not sure about that part right there. That side could maybe stay flat, but like, go over here on this pole. Uh, spruce staircase, spruce staircase, just like that. Then maybe on this side over here, just spruce staircase, or you know what? I'm gonna do spruce staircases around that, so let's move it up a little bit. We could do spruce staircases up there, and then maybe on the bottom, we could do barrels again. I feel like that would make this side of the build match the other side. So maybe barrels and then that, and then that's really tall. That could look really cool. And then same thing over here, but I'll have to come back in and uh, like move the bushes a little bit, probably push the ground out a little bit more. But yeah, something like that. That'll add a lot of structure and support to these tall, tall beams. Oh, and of course, a little bit of attention to detail on the front will turn this flat thing into this cool round looking thing. I think this is definitely the move probably that shape right there and then on the top stone brick staircases kind of doing the same thing to cap that off oh yeah oh yeah the build is definitely coming together windows right there uh over here this is gonna be interesting though oh and then this roof line it'll be pretty much similar to that but instead of one in the middle we'll have two in the middle on this side so i'm gonna go ahead and get a lot of what we've talked about in i'll be back Elites, I'm going crazy here. I'm going crazy on the detail. Look at this. So I've got these little arch bits on this roof over here. Probably going to do it on the other side because it's really, really flat and open over there. But uh, the build is coming along. So if we take a step back, I put a chimney on this part right here. I got really fancy up at the top. That's four staircases all connected to each other. So it makes that like tiny little connection bit. Then I put some slabs up on top. I feel like it's not too thick, but then again, I'm kind of torn. I I might come back in and just take those slabs off but yeah the build it's coming along so uh i wanted to come back in here really quick and talk about this side over here before i do anything else so uh staircase is on the bottom is what i'm thinking then we go dirt block and then we're gonna go with another dirt block right there then against those dirt blocks wait for it trap door trap door right open them both up just like that or close them or you know whatever then we can go ahead and actually build right back up here and grab a couple more staircases and do staircase 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 just like that only three then inside of here we could put more glass panes i don't know if i have any ready right now 
but glass panes in there. Then I could do basically the same exact thing over here with uh, the staircases and the glass pane window. Then uh, finally, the same thing right over here. That'll be perfect. Now, the front of the build still very, very close to this mountain here. I was messing around with the roof a little bit too, trying to see what I could come up with here. Maybe change things up a little bit, but I'm not too sure. I also uh, didn't finish it. <laughs> I was going to put like staircases there, but I'm not too sure. Anyways, so that's where the build is at right now. I just wanted to come back in before I literally finish it all. I have been uh, checking on this every once in a while. It looks like I need to check it again, but I am already loving this build so much. Elites, I have good news to report. In fact, it's not just good news. It's great news. It's amazing news. It's great. Uh, I already said great. It's good news right here. Boom. We have food coming from this cow farm now, which means, well, uh, it means that we can really do whatever we want after today because food is now being supplied over here at this base. Now, uh, speaking of uh, base, I've made some good moves on this thing over there. Uh, I don't know if you can tell. It's kind of hard to see because there's a lot of trees but the house is pretty much done on the outside look at this beautiful beautiful build i have to say i actually like this more than my starter house maybe i don't know the chimney is pretty sweet i did take those slabs off by the way but yeah look at the build it looks awesome from up there so uh this is the first time that i'm gonna see the house from over here i haven't looked at it quite yet Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So I've detailed the build. As you can see here, I added a little, like, uh, swoop up on the top. I put some fences in there. There's a button uh, right, right there, you know? Yeah, I did lots and lots of detailing on the build uh, in between cuts. And I am super pleased with where this house is now. This is pretty much exactly what I was picturing when I was kind of, like, imagining this build today before we took it on. One thing that I might change, uh, I might come back in and actually put... Um, like staircases in there to make a little bit more depth because that's really really plain looking but now it's time to start talking about the interior of the build so today's goal of finishing the whole house definitely still stands but I kind of realized that you know I actually probably can't finish the whole house well at least somewhat I, I don't have enough materials for a brand new enchantment setup quite yet so that's gonna have to wait but we can at least start the inside so I'm thinking the floor in this house in the main portion of the build should probably be oak I think oak would look really really good in here then of course I'll come back in afterwards and detail this uh the oak flooring with uh stripped oak logs on the floor too that would look really really good now this oak floor will pretty much be most of the build other than that entry portion right there the oak floor can also continue into the enchanting area that's fine that'll look good Oh, and by the way, the reason I can't finish the enchanting setup isn't the leather. I definitely could go back to the old base and just grab all of the leather there, which is something that I'll definitely do at some point. It's the paper. I actually am short on paper. We never made a sugarcane farm, or at least a proper one, so I've been harvesting like a couple plants here and there. Yeah, it's really not the best. So, uh, this area is pretty much going to stay untouched. We'll fill this up with bookshelves and, you know, all of the other enchanting stuff. So, a grindstone, an anvil, all of that. That'll look good. And by the way, pretty much like 360 windows here i think this looks pretty sweet now uh, that leaves all of this space i think we could start with this area over here so the ceiling what do i want to do with the ceiling well good question me i honestly am not sure i know that we could start with something like this we could do that and then this time maybe we could like arch it up a little bit i think that would look really really cool in here so let's go ahead and go with that for the ceiling we have this arch going in there then we would of course need to fill everything else in I'm thinking that maybe we could fill everything in in here with stone. Stone actually might look pretty good there. Now, this is the exterior wall, so we're going to need to work around this somehow. That, that right there is actually going to be pretty tricky. You know what we could do? Maybe. This is going out on a little bit of a limb here, but what if, uh, to work around that wall, we just built out into the house a little bit. So let's put a smoker right there temporarily. If it doesn't work, we'll move it, and then we'll put a campfire right there. That's the fire from the smoker, right? And then we could actually try and build a chimney around that. I feel like that would be the big brain way to actually work around that white wall up there, right? Probably, if we were to, like, maybe do more trapdoors. Trapdoors have been amazing for me to Today, so why not we have some trap doors right there then maybe some right here as well okay going up nice 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 and then hmm well we could do a sign right there like a spruce sign i don't think i have any over here so i'll have to craft some of those then hmm where do we go from here 
Well, we could do this. We could do a trap door right there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, okay. And <laughs> that's all I got. Uh, that's all I got. I, I like the idea of this here, though. I'll probably leave that here. But you know what? Maybe let's just move the smoker back a little bit. I'll come up with something else. I got it. Check it out. I went in with spruce staircases. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That looks pretty good. And watch this. We put them here. We put them there. And then it mirrors the other side, like literally perfectly. Then I could, if I wanted to, actually open that up even more. Oh, oh, oh yeah, maybe, maybe. I don't know about that. You know what? This is what we could do. We could take that out and we could do dark oak right across this spot right there. Strip it. Mm -hmm, and then we'll worry about that later because then that looks really, really good right there. And even more importantly, we can make it identical on the other side. So you see why I said we'll worry about it later? There we go. Now this glass is framed in a little bit better. Looks a little weird though up there from the outside. So maybe I come back and put like a staircase up there to hide that spot. But anyways, here's the ceiling over here. Now, uh, this is what I'm thinking. With the fire, we can close that, kind of like, you know, filter the smoke through. Now next up, when I was building this place, you know, just a second ago, here's what I was envisioning. We take some chests in here and do a double chest right there and then we do another double chest right there maybe maybe i don't know then over here we do the same exact thing double chest and then double chest right there now a stone cutter thank you very much uh let's see let's see i wanted to put a blast furnace in here you know what we could take that off and then we could craft a blast furnace okay okay all right so here's this area finished uh pretty much for now now the rest of the build uh, what will we do? Oh, wait, that's right. I've already done some stuff. So, here's what I'm thinking. With the ceiling, we could do, like, maybe, big maybe here, uh, stone. I'm not sure, though. I, I almost feel like maybe it should be spruce slabs because we need a staircase there to kind of curve things upwards. And uh, if I put a slab there, there's that weird combination. So, yeah, that's kind of the real reason why we need a staircase there. So, anyways, we have stone, then we have stone brick, then we have smooth stone up at the top. Wish I could hang a chain there, but it's actually on the top half of a block, so that's not going to work. Uh, then this area, it's empty still. Still don't have an enchantment set up. Then the front area. I'm thinking brewing stain right there, probably more for decoration, and then a cauldron. I've got a copy of the map so that means one copy is back over at the starter house and then this copy is right here i need to finish filling this thing in then uh over here a little closet it's a little different than the other one though but it's there i think if i put armor on it it would look good and then finally we've made it back over to this side so yes a lot of this build is still empty no that's definitely not going to be the plan i'm leaving it empty because well i really don't know what i'm gonna do with the space it really all depends on the enchanting setup and what i fit in this spot for example if i fit an ender chest over here by the enchanting area then i don't need it over here i also am highly highly considering adding a ladder in right here and making a second story so i think this is a good spot to leave the starter house for today from the outside beautiful from the inside it's getting there so comment of the daytime today's comment of the day is from zulu romeo when starting a new world, do you prefer large biomes or normal biome sizes? Easy. Always normal biomes. And normal biomes are the only way I can go, elites, because I don't like big biomes, like gigantic ones at least. It kind of just gets boring and repetitive. And the same thing over and over and over again, and then eventually I just don't even want to play in... Okay, it's a little bit dramatic, but normal biomes, easy. Anyways, that's gonna do it for today's video. Today, big shout out to Skelly Wampus, Robbie McFly, and Bad Andy925. Thank you all so much for the support. Thank you all for watching, and let me know what you think about the starter house down in the comments below. Do you like it? Do you not? Share your thoughts. Goodbye, everyone. Stay fresh.